White Sox hosting the Brewers, and the Brewers are minus 122 on the money line. The White Sox are plus 104. Over under, eight and a half runs. Milwaukee laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 126, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by at least two. And Chicago getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 152, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one you would win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And whatever picks I make are based off of the pitchers that you see listed above me. And if you're going to bet overnight, select the pitcher just in case they decide to change them for whatever the reason may be. Now, either neither one of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team last year or this year. The Brewers have won Peralta's last three starts. They are 6-4 and four in his last 10. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and 8.1 strikeouts per game in those games. In his last five, they are four and one. Like I said, they've won his last three. The over has hit in his last two starts and the over is three and two in his last five starts. One earned run, 13 strikeouts, three earned runs, seven strikeouts, no earned runs, 13 strikeouts, six earned runs, five strikeouts, no earned runs, six strikeouts. He's got an ERA of two and he's averaging six innings pitched in his last five starts. For the White Sox, they are four and six as a team in Cease's last 10 appearances. He's averaging five innings pitched and 6.9 strikeouts per game in those games. It just seems like he's my kryptonite because he gets hot and then I start picking with him and then once I pick with him, he starts losing. They did win his last appearance. It was against the Yankees and yes, I picked against him because he pitched against Cole. They're two and three in his last five starts. He's averaging... Uh, four and two thirds innings pitched with a 2.6 ERA, and the under is three and two in his last five starts. So we've got two pitchers with two different stat lines there. No earned runs, six strikeouts, seven earned runs, one strikeout, four earned runs, five strikeouts, and then back to back games with one earned run, striking out nine, and striking out six. Head to head, the road team is seven and three. The Brewers are six and four. The Brewers are on a two game winning streak against the White Sox. The favorite is on a two game winning streak, although the underdog is six and four on the money line, and the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is eight and two. There have been four one run games in their last 10 meetings, including the two games that they played against each other this year. The under is five, two, and three, and the under eight and a half runs is seven and three, which I'm kind of baffled that both of these aces are on the mound and the run lines are as low as what they are. The Brewers winning today, 3-2, to two, and yesterday, 7-6. to six. Now Milwaukee is 6-4 in their last 10. They're on a three-game winning streak. They are 3-1 and one in their last four. And the over actually is hitting four out of their last five games. Today was the only one that it hasn't hit in their last five. The over is 6-4 in their last 10, beating the Rockies 7-3. Oh, losing to the Rockies 7-3, then beating them 7-6, then beating the White Sox 7-6, then beating the White Sox 3-2. For the White Sox, they are on a two-game losing streak. They're four and six in their last ten, one and three in their last four, and the under is six and four in their last ten. Losing to the Yankees seven to one, then beating the Yankees nine to two, then losing to the Brewers seven six and three to two. This is uh, going to be an interesting kind of game, and honestly, I'm going to take the home underdog here. I'm going to go with Cease especially since the stat lines are the way that they are. I'm going to take Chicago with the money line. I'm going to take Chicago getting the runs. And if they win this game, it's probably going to be under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.